Okay, well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the webinar on how to use Salesforce Chatter to collaborate remotely and supercharge your team. We have four experts from MST Solutions on the subject who will guide this webinar. We have Donald Borish, Senior Salesforce Architect, Shailesh Tawari, Senior Technical Architect, Shuresh Potuguntla, Salesforce Principal Consultant, and Kamachi Sargunanathan, Application Architect. So together they will talk through what Salesforce Chatter is, how it's being used in enterprise to improve productivity and workflow, and through a live demonstration, they'll also show how it can be used to automate workflows and collaborate more effectively. So this is a very interactive webinar. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in chat. And uh, one final housekeeping note, if you are seeing this in a side-by-side -side mode, um, just navigate to the top of your screen and click on the view options and you can uncheck or deselect the side-by-side -side mode um, that's a, a little check mark next to that. So with that, I will kick it over to Donald. Thank you, Beth. And first off, thank you everyone for your time today and making time out of your day to join us on this webinar about the amazing Salesforce functionality, China. Now, there's a couple of really amazing things that Salesforce provides via Chatter. One of those is very pertinent to how we are currently doing business here in the world today because of COVID and the pandemic going on. That is keeping your teams connected. Now, sure, of course, there are various tools such as Slack or Teams or, you know, maybe even your company has a Facebook group that they connect and collaborate on. But none of those, unless you go and spend thousands of dollars, are directly connected to your records in Salesforce. So, whereas previously, we used to be able to walk right down the aisle and talk with our colleagues about various Salesforce records and collaborate that way, now in this very diverse and um, kind of separated environment where we're all working from home and our various remote offices, we are able to collaborate directly on Salesforce records thanks to Salesforce Chatter. So at the end of the day, it helps you collaborate and it helps you really get the job done. It provides a community space in Salesforce where you can also have various special interest groups. Right, so maybe you need to increase morale amongst your team and you wanna be able to chat about various topics um, within your Salesforce org. Well, you can create those groups, you can make them private, keep them public, and you can subscribe or unsubscribe to their various notifications. The other cool thing about Chatter is it has recognition badges where you can essentially recognize your various colleagues for their amazing contributions to your team, and at the end of the day, getting your mission accomplished. The other cool piece is you can actually follow documents as well as people in your Salesforce org. Now, today, we're gonna take you through an amazing demo, and Charlotte and team, please take it away. Um, great, uh, thank you, Donald. Uh, so uh, today we want to go ahead and um, let me go ahead and quickly share my screen. Um, so today we want to go ahead and show you a, a use case um, uh, about the sales team. How does the sales team work uh, in a given, uh, 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 nowadays everybody's in a COVID-19 situation working from home. So how does a sales team collaborate with each other uh, uh, in, in these scenarios, how they work with everybody, uh, even though everybody is uh, working remotely. Uh, so here we are going to show you a use case of a sales team. Um, so I will be playing the role of a sales uh, representative uh, and uh, I'll be uh, playing the role of Ricky East. Uh, I also have my colleague, uh, Suresh, uh, he's gonna play the role of Eli West. Uh, again, Eli West is another uh, sales representative who focuses more mainly on the, the West uh, part of our uh, business. And then uh, 
Um, I also have uh, my colleague uh, Kamachi. She's going to play the role of uh, Valerie North, uh, and uh, she's also a sales representative who takes care of the business on the North side. So uh, now here uh, I am Ricky East. I logged into this this particular org uh, at the start of my day, and uh, here I see a, a high level overview of how does how does it look like for my opportunities. I can quickly see the pipeline. Um, my pipeline has a bunch of opportunities sitting in different stages. I can see uh, some saying qualification, uh, a lot of them sitting in negotiation. That's good, uh, that's pretty close. And I've already uh, kind of closed uh, uh, one bunch of opportunities. I can also quickly see that uh, there are uh, what what are the different kind of opportunities I have. Some of them are new business, some of the add-on kind of business and a bunch of them are in the services uh, part of it. Um, below here, I can uh, get a quick idea about how does my day look like. I see I have a two uh, task pending, uh, which I want to go ahead and take care of. And, and uh, I also have a couple of meetings today scheduled. Uh, one is a conference call with key stakeholders. Um, and another one is a uh, account health check, uh, which I want to go ahead and, and discuss. Um, if I want to take a, a look ahead um, about uh, all my tasks, I can just quickly uh, go ahead and, and, and click on that. It's going to give me some idea about a couple of tasks which are overdue, which I didn't get to yesterday, and then um, what is coming uh, ahead in the in the week. Uh, and below, uh, there is a news component uh, which gives me some idea about um, overall uh, what's going on uh, with the different uh, accounts which I'm working on, if there is any big news. And nowadays, it's even more important to keep up to date uh, with, the, with the news happening uh, in the business world uh, because a lot of changes are happening uh, every day and we are getting some new news uh, every day. So the, this this gives me an overall uh, idea about a or a current snapshot of, of my world. Uh, on the right hand side, I have a Einstein Insight uh, 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 section here. Again, Einstein, if you're not aware of, is a Salesforce uh, artificial intelligence uh, engine. Uh, it gives you. It basically looks at your uh, organization data and applies some artificial intelligence on top of it. Uh, based on how uh, your uh, previous opportunities were won, what were the factors around it, and kind of gives you some some advice on that. And I can see that uh, uh, this has uh, uh, popped up a couple of insights on my uh, opportunity, uh, some of the opportunities saying that some important data is missing uh, on my opportunity. And it also is, is, is uh, uh, showing up some of the insights uh, on my account. So um, this is a great uh, uh, tool to help uh, me in close my opportunity. So now I'm ready to go ahead and jump in into my um, uh, daily work. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, dive into my opportunities. I see some of the opportunities. Uh, um, I'm just gonna go and, and jump into my top level opportunity, which is showing up at the top. Uh, uh, this is an add-on business and uh, I'm working on it. I see still in the discovery phase. Um, I can quickly see the details of the opportunities and all the information here. And uh, because nowadays I'm working from home and uh, I realize that uh, this customer has asked me to provide uh, some more information on some of the technical specification for, for one of the products. So, uh, and I do not have the information with me, but I know my uh, support team definitely has the information. So I'm just gonna quickly uh, jump over to the charter uh, uh, application uh, and uh, uh, I can utilize this to quickly reach out to a broader group of users who I think can can help me with this part of question. Uh, so I'm just gonna add mention, everybody knows what, what add mention um, does. I'm just gonna quickly uh, start typing um, sales support. And I see the top level sales support uh, group comes in the picture. 
So I'm just going to reach out to them and ask them um, if they can share the uh, technical specification. Um, Or for one of the turbine products. Uh, so it's it's pretty easy. I just went ahead and and asked them a question, and uh, it uh, it it is gonna do behind the scene. It is gonna pop up uh, a, a notification on the sales support team members uh, who are uh, part of uh, this group and they will see the information. And I can see that uh, uh, one of my colleagues already saw my question and uh, looks like he's trying to respond to my question at this particular time. So um, here I see that my colleague Eli West uh, responded to my question. He remembered that uh, he has uh, seen uh, uh, another team member, uh, Valerie, was uh, working or uh, she has that particular document. So uh, he asked her to provide, uh, see if he can, she can provide the document. I can see that, uh, looks like she also saw my question as well as um, my colleagues because he had mentioned her. Uh, uh, so she got a notification that someone is looking for, for, for her. And then uh, I could see that she's also uh, quickly typing a response uh, uh, to that particular question, and uh, uh, I'm gonna hope uh, that uh, probably I will get the document uh, pretty soon. So uh, while uh, the, I'm getting the response for that, I can see that there are a couple of other options. If I am very much interested in this particular opportunity, uh, I can go ahead and. Uh, click on the follow button here. So that way I will start following this particular opportunity. And if anything uh, important is gonna happen, then I'm gonna get those updates in my uh, chatter feed. And I see that uh, um, uh, Valerie uh, has responded to a question with a particular file and uh, I can see the file is already attached here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly Click on that uh, part of file. Uh, looks like uh, system is still taking a little bit of uh, time to get the preview ready, but uh, I can, it gives me multiple options. It just gives me a quick uh, overview, uh, but it also gives me a bunch of other options. Let me refresh my screen, I'm not sure why it's not uh, <clears throat> clear the preview. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the chatter uh, uh, Part and I click. So it looks like it's running some problem, but I, 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 I have multiple options here. I can go ahead and download the file under my system and quickly uh, uh, see the file and uh, 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 there's some other option. I can share the file with anybody else if I want and, and create a public link if I want to share it with anybody else outside the organization. So there you go. Looks like the, uh, the preview just took some time to load the preview, but I, I can see the file directly here uh, also. I don't even have to download it to be able to see. So it just gives me a very really good uh, uh, quick overview. I can see, okay, hey, this is the file which I was looking for. And now I have the file and I'll be able to go ahead and uh, share it uh, with the customer and then uh, I'll be able to move forward. So that's a great, uh, I'm just gonna quickly thank my team members. Uh, I can just, uh, had mentioned them and their name pops up uh, and uh, and uh, I can quickly uh, uh, say thank you to them and then uh, <clears throat> so uh, this is a great way uh, to to reach out to a broader group, even though we are working from home, everybody's working from home, but we can still continue to collaborate on a on a single uh, uh, opportunity or file. And because we had all this, this, even though we had all this discussion on the Chatter app, but we were talking about this particular opportunity. So we can see that, that under the file section, the file which was uh, provided by 
my valid now i can already see that particular file so i whenever i come to this opportunity i'll be able to see this particular file here so i don't have to go anywhere else now this is where we saw that how we were working on a single record and a single opportunity uh, we we were able to see uh, 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 chatter that collaborate on that but chatter is much bigger than just working on a single record in salesforce as uh, Donald mentioned a little bit in the in the starting of the discussion. Uh, there is a totally separate app for Chatter itself, where we can see a lot of uh, other functionality into this. So this is the Chatter app, uh, which has been enabled by my Salesforce admin, and he has had that particular app for all the sales uh, uh, as part of our sales application here. So I can see the Chatter app is coming up. Uh, so this is the home page for Chatter app where I can see all the chatter related stuff in one single space. I can see all the information. I just had this recent discussion with the team member and I can see all the information here. Um, uh, while uh, I'm here, I remember that uh, I, uh, I know recently my company's logo was updated and uh, I do not have that uh, updated logo with me. And I wanted to go ahead and create some document for our clients and, and want to make sure that I include uh, the up-to-date logo. So I'm going to uh, go to the groups. These are the groups uh, which I'm part of. So I can just quickly go to the group and... Uh, um, I can go ahead and ask the, a question for uh, all of my group members uh, about the, the uh, updated company logo. So I'm going to ask them uh, if anybody, uh, if, if anyone can share the updated uh, company logo with me. And uh, there you go. I just went ahead and asked a question in, in my group uh, and uh, everybody in the group is gonna uh, get the notification who what is part of the group. Uh, so um, I can, uh, here I can see some of the details about the group that what the group details about the description that this is a support uh, group, uh, which basically helps uh, all the support team members. I can quickly go ahead and see the, uh, all the different members of this particular group and uh, all the other records. And while we were seeing the records and details, I can see that uh, uh, my colleague, uh, Ally West, uh, uh, has seen my request and he quickly went ahead and shared the updated company logo with me. So uh, there you go. I got the company updated company logo and uh, now I can go ahead and use this company uh, logo with my, um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and select this as a best answer. So this is uh, gonna come as a, as a best answer. So that way, if uh, anybody else uh, comes to this particular group, uh, they will be able to go ahead and uh, 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 see this particular information. Uh, <clears throat> so um, um, this is a great thing. I was as I was working on that requesting company logo. I see that uh, there is a a poll posted into into uh, this group uh, by my team member. Uh, and Paul is another great option if you have, uh, if you are uh, trying to find out uh, what is the best option uh, everybody likes. So in this case, um, looks like uh, my team member is trying to get together some feedback about the date and location for our uh, Q2 sales review meeting, which is uh, due next month. Uh, and he has provided a couple of uh, places, uh, dates as well as location. So, um, I'm in Phoenix and I like the Phoenix weather. Uh, so I'm gonna choose uh, Phoenix as my option. I'm gonna vote for it. And uh, I can see it looks like Phoenix is the, is, the, is the option chosen by a couple of other team members also. So this is a great uh, way to get uh, quick feedback uh, from from your team members uh, about some some of the options. So this this works great. Uh, 
I don't have to send out uh, an email to everybody and go through the email and collect the response and all those things. I have everything in one single place and uh, um, uh, I, can, I can see all this information. Uh, so uh, now I'm gonna move on to, uh, I'm part of a couple of other teams also. So I'm just gonna go to the, uh, my regional sales team and uh, just gonna see what's going on there. Um, so as soon as I go to the regional sales team, I see that uh, there is a, a uh, my team member, whether or not, has uh, posted an announcement. Uh, uh, that's another great feature of the chatter. Uh, uh, admin uh, members of the group who, who are the administrator of the group can go ahead and uh, uh, so send out some important announcement. And uh, if it is if it comes out as an announcement then and it shows up at the top of your uh, particular page you'll be able to see um, that information at the top of the page with a with the icon so you know that this is important uh, so uh, yeah there is a lot of business getting impacted because of covid-19 so uh, my uh, team member is, is, is uh, asking us or everybody to make sure that we stay in touch with our key accounts, just reach out to them and see if we can uh, help them in any way uh, or shape. So this is a great way to make sure all the important information just goes there at the top of your, your uh, group information in that way. And, and we can also have, can have a, a expiry date associated with this particular uh, uh, announcement so that it doesn't stay there for all the time. It's going to stay there till till that uh, um, time we thought is going to be uh, the till the expiry uh, time comes, and after that it's just going to go ahead and drop off. So this is a great way to uh, work with the different team. You could be part of the different groups, uh, and then uh, you can collaborate with your team member. Um, I already showed you the question options as a post option, and we saw previously the poll option from, from my um, um, uh, another team member which posted a poll so I can you can just anybody can go and quickly create it and, and work with the team. So I'm going to now go back to my opportunity. Um, I still have some more work to do on my opportunity. I'm going to go back uh, on my opportunity and uh, uh, just uh, start working on it. Um, here, uh, multiple team members work on the opportunities. So uh, uh, I'm not the only one, even though I'm the owner, but uh, uh, other team members can also go ahead and help out on this particular opportunity. So it's important uh, in these kind of scenarios to be aware of uh, uh, what all changes are going on, uh, if, if anybody else is making any kind of changes. So. I'm just, uh, we have uh, enabled an important feature in this particular org, uh, it's called feed, uh, feed tracking. Um, so for some of the important fields, uh, we have said that hey, whenever that field changes, uh, we want system to automatically put a post into our chatter feed so that uh, we can see, everybody can, can, can stay updated about it. For opportunity, we have selected amount and the date. So I see, that uh, 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 my colleague uh, Valerie North has um, um, just a couple of minutes ago made a change to the opportunity close date. She got some information that uh, opportunity is not going to close in 525 and now it's supposed to close at 531. So because we have enabled a, a important uh, the feature fee tracking here, we can go ahead and see the system has, has seen that there was a change made to the opportunity close date. So system went ahead and, and updated uh, or made a post into the chatter feed. So now uh, I can see that and I realize that, okay, okay I'm, I'm up to date aware that hey, there was a change made in the close date part of it. So this is a great uh, feature um, uh, to ensure that uh, uh, we stay up to date. So I'm going to take a small break and, and see Beth if, if uh, uh, we, we got any, any questions. Uh, um, yes, we actually did have 
a couple that have posted in here. Um, one is, is chatter difficult to build out? How, how long does it typically take to set up? So actually, I'm going to defer that question to my uh, team member, uh, Suresh. Suresh helped us out in building this whole thing. Suresh, do you just want to talk about that, uh, how difficult it is to build out this chatter app? Yeah, sure. Thank, thanks, Suresh. And thanks, thanks, Beth. So chatter, you know, as we know, it's an out-of-the-box offering from Salesforce that comes with, uh, you know, um, standard uh, Salesforce subscription. Uh, what it means, we don't need to spend any additional, uh, you know, money to procure licenses or such thing. So it's available out of the box across all the modules. So we can start, uh, you know, right using the functionality. Uh, of course, we may need to configure some business processes, some groups and things like that, what Shailesh had showed us so far, but uh, pretty much uh, simple configuration and very low effort to get, uh, you know, start using this functionality. Thank you, Shiresh. Um, and there's one other question so far. Um, is there any part of Chatter that can be customer facing? So, yeah, but that's a good question. So right now we are showing you uh, mainly um, a use case about uh, how to collaborate with internal, but uh, uh, my colleague uh, Kamachi, uh, who's playing the role of Valeri, um, has uh, can talk about uh, what does it mean to to get our uh, customer involved. Yeah, thank you, Sailesh. So regarding customer facing, uh, we can use Chatter to collaborate more effectively along with the customers. We can invite both internal people as well as external people. So that, for example, if you have some customer meetings, you can uh, make it more effective if you create some customer meeting like Acme July meeting and involve some key deal uh, players to the collaborations and make it more successful. Thank you. Yeah, maybe just to add a few more things to that. So yeah, Salesforce has a lot of uh, uh, great community products which are customer facing so uh, the customer communities and the partner communities so more majority of those scenarios yeah we can have a separate uh, chat or kind of uh, app uh, which is where either customer can collaborate with each other or customer can collaborate with internal team members so yeah there's a lot of uh, uh, cool functionalities uh, are there in that aspect Okay. And one other question actually that just came in. Um, can you recommend some ways to encourage internal adoption? Um, uh, they mentioned that it can be hard to get the team excited about using new technology or new forms of communication. No, definitely. Thank you. But so yeah, we, we see a lot of these challenges because even though this particular app uh, is there and it's really a really a level, uh, but it's still uh, some of the customers struggle with the uh, with the adoption part of it. So um, uh, during the remaining part of the presentation, I'm going to show a little bit about uh, part of the component of the tool where the tool itself provides some kind of information. To, to engage, uh, to get the, the clarity about how much, uh, how much uh, teams are engaging uh, in, in this, this uh, utilizing this tool. And uh, we also have uh, uh, our own uh, tips and tricks, uh, uh, which we uh, evolved. So we run it as a change management kind of product. Uh, it's, a, it's a new way of communicating. So uh, we treat it as a, as a, as a change management project and when we help it uh, implement that uh, in such a way that uh, we, we uh, ensure the adoption, uh, there's a good adoption across the board for, for, for the organization. Thank you. That's all the questions so far. That's great. Uh, thanks, Beth. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with uh, my rest of the presentation. Uh, so um, I'm gonna go ahead back to, uh, again, my chatter web app because that's where everything is there, uh, all the, the great uh, um, uh, information. So 
here uh, uh, I'm going to talk about a very important feature. I, I generally I work with a lot of opportunities. There are, there are uh, 10 to 15 opportunities. Uh, uh, there are 10 to 15 accounts and a lot of other 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 records are there with with which I work. Uh, but uh, uh, within a given uh, week, uh, I focus on, or a given month, I focus on certain certain opportunities. So, um, our account. So, this is a great way. Um, that is, a, it's called a stream. Uh, I could create a new stream uh, and put a different kind of. Uh, um, I could uh, name this as key April opportunities. So these are the opportunities which I'm focusing on right now. Uh, and uh, uh, I want to go ahead and make sure that I don't want to miss any of the, the important updates happening on this type of opportunities. So um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new uh, 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 stream where I'm going to add three opportunities, uh, which I am I'm very much interested on and I'm working on it right now. So one is the, the, the upstyle opportunity which I've been working on so far. And there are a couple of other uh, opportunities which uh, uh, are also important for me. So uh, I'm gonna create a, this new stream key upstyle opportunities and I've added these three opportunities there. And uh, I want to get notified uh, uh, whenever any changes are made to this, any of these opportunities, uh, and I'm going to create this thing. So this way, um, this stream, if I come to this particular stream, it is only going to show me the changes or the feeds related to these three opportunities. Um, and even though I have created this particular feed right now, uh, just for uh, these three opportunities, but as you saw in the uh, in the creation screen, that I could add a mix of things. I could add a couple of opportunities. I could also add a couple of accounts or some other records uh, into, into the same stream. So I don't have to um, go to two, three, two, I don't have to create two, three different kind of uh, streams. I can just create one stream and put all the important things which I want to watch and put there. So I saw that uh, that uh, I just created, I saw that a couple of changes happening to my my important opportunities. Uh, one of the opportunities which I added, which is related to the add-on business, I'm very interested in that. Uh, my colleague Eli West has uh, um, asked a question uh, uh, and uh, uh, so I'm going to just quickly like that. I'm saying, uh, sure, uh, let's do that. Uh, and um, I see there is another uh, update which was made to uh, our, our, our uh, comment, which was posted to my uh, other opportunity that, uh, so uh, this is great way to make sure uh, uh, that I stay up to date. And uh, uh, let me quickly talk about the notification part of it. Um, uh, this is the uh, this is the place where I can see all the uh, updates happening to it. But if anybody mentions my name, like with the at, uh, I get a quick notification. If you see at the top of the bar, there is a bell here and the numbers have, have, have increased uh, because my name was mentioned a bunch of the times uh, in, in last uh, uh, five, 10 uh, uh, minutes. So I have received a bunch of the notification and uh, whenever someone mentioned me, I'm gonna get a notification and I can uh, go to my profile and control how I want to get notified. I can just get notified here or if I choose to receive an email, I can also uh, update my profile so that I receive an email every time I get a particular uh, um, notifications. This is a great way to make sure uh, we are stay up to date on, on, on all of our uh, opportunities or changes across the board. 
So uh, now I have worked on my opportunities, uh, checked out the updates of some of the things. Uh, I want to go ahead and see uh, my, my my reports. Uh, um, I want to check out uh, uh, just just see overall my sales pipeline, how my sales pipeline is going on. So I just quickly hop over to the report section and go to the sales pipeline uh, um, part of it and. Uh, I just uh, see uh, uh, quickly at, at a quick glance, I can see uh, how, how does it look like. Uh, so there is a, a good amount of opportunity sitting in the qualification. Um, something is happening in the discovery side, personal quota negotiation. I, I like that a lot of opportunities are in the negotiation stage. I'm hoping they're gonna close pretty soon. Um, but I'm a little bit worried about uh, the, the greater amount of opportunities sitting in the qualification side. And I want to make sure that uh, we do something about it. So um, as we saw that it's very easy to collaborate on an individual record, I can just go to the site the section and the, in the chat section, I can just start talking about it. Or um, In this case, uh, again, there is a uh, collaborate uh, uh, button here. If I click there, it is going to pop open the uh, chat or feed for this, and then uh, I can just start collaborating on that. I can reach out to uh, uh, my uh, regional sales team and say, hey, uh, that uh, we have. A lot of opportunities in qualification stage. Let's discuss some. Review meeting. So, I want to want to see what can we do about it? Uh, how can we quickly move them? And. Uh, um, thing about this that now I posted it there everybody is gonna everybody who are in my regional sales team will be able to see this particular uh, and if they have something to uh, respond they can respond it here if not uh, in the next meeting I don't need to carry separate notes or anything uh, like that I just go there and open this report and uh, open this collaboration, uh, the, the chatter uh, uh, app there. And uh, I can see all the past note which happens there. And if any kind of discussion, any other discussion happened on this particular report, so we'll be able to see all this information in one single place. And uh, uh, if, if any, any other team members also have something to say, then they can, they can discuss it. So we have, we can have all the discussion in one single place. Uh, so it's very easy. To, to just discuss the report and, and talk about it and, and, and uh, get things done. So now I have checked my reports. I'm gonna move on to the dashboard section, dashboard section of it. And I, I see that uh, my sales rep dashboard is there. Um, I'm just gonna quickly uh, click on it and I see that my dashboard is here. Uh, that is my close business, it's my pipeline. Um, my forecast, uh, you can just quickly see a, a high level uh, overview of my activities, my leads, and, and all this information is one single place. And uh, I see on my forecast uh, um, that I have a lot of opportunities closing in, uh, in, in this April 2020. So uh, I think I'm going to need some help uh, uh, because uh, there April is, is just barely uh, a, a week or so left. Uh, so um, again, I can just go open the collaboration app here and then I can uh, reach out to my team members uh, for some help. Uh, tag my team versus Eli West and Valerie because they've been very helpful to me. So I'm just gonna reach out to them and then uh, say, hey, let's uh, uh, Okay. 
Go. So um, reach out to them so that way they will see and they will see because I mentioned that they may they're gonna get they're gonna get a notification in the bar at the top and uh, they'll be will see that I have made this uh, comment in the context of the dashboard and they'll be able to see what I'm talking about uh, because when they open the dashboard. Uh, they'll be able to uh, get the information. Uh, so this is a great way to collaborate on the, on, on the dashboards and reports and make sure the, the overall, um, everybody has the same context, uh, what are we talking about? So uh, I see they quickly respond at, uh, and, and uh, uh, I must also say, uh, 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 Show another feature, it's a CC, uh, so that's a great way. I'm just gonna quickly like it and uh, uh, wait. So now I'm gonna just gonna head over to our Chatter app. Um, again, I said this is the home page for, for everything. I can see all chat related stuff here. Um, again, here on the on the on the side we have a Einstein box. Uh, Section uh, Einstein is again uh, Salesforce artificial intelligence engine, um, and uh, it, it it basically looks into my activities and uh, it it uh, looks into other activities and it's giving me options. Say, hey, looks like these are the important people, or it also gives uh, some recommendations on the groups that these are the important groups you should join or these are the important person you should follow, so I can. Uh, uh, follow based on its recommendation. I can I can choose to follow or not. So I would say um, that's all. Uh, we just wanted to show you at the high level how a team, a distributed team, uh, teams working from home can quickly utilize the chatter functionality, which again, as you mentioned, the starting that is free. If you're already working on on Salesforce, you have Salesforce licenses, and it's feature is already available to you in this particular org. And then uh, as Suresh mentioned that it can be pretty easily, uh, can be uh, configured and deployed in your org uh, without uh, much challenges. So um, there we go. Um, but uh, do we have any questions? Any other questions? Yes, we did have a couple others um, come up. Um, and if, if you don't mind um, stopping your screen share. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so one other question was, um, can, can, is Chatter available across multiple devices? Can it be deployed? across multiple devices? So yes, uh, Chatter is uh, available uh, across uh, uh, so uh, multiple devices. So yeah, right now we just showed the desktop kind of experience, but uh, uh, Salesforce has its own uh, Salesforce mobile app, which is available in iOS and Android uh, also, and Chatter functionality is available in, in both of those. Uh, uh, applications also. Okay. Um, and is there a limit to how many groups you can have? So um, in, a, in a particular org, uh, there is a, a, a max limit of a 30,000 groups you can have, uh, but there are some other groups also are public groups. There are no limits for the public groups, but with the chatter, uh, specific groups, you have a limit of 30,000 uh, uh, groups uh, given a, in, in a given org. Okay. And looks like there's one last question in here. Um, can you set up auto follows or uh, on opportunities or specific cases? Yeah, but uh, this is Suresh. I can take that question. Sure, go ahead, Suresh. Yeah, so yeah, auto follow is uh, another you know feature which we can set it up. You know, we might need to do some small configuration behind the scenes, but it is possible. 
Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, maybe just add to that uh, a, a point. Um, uh, yeah, like I think the, uh, probably you should have shown a little bit about that um, also. So the, the Salesforce has a great uh, workflow engine. Everybody knows about it that you can automate your process and all. So in the along the same line, you can also include chatter also as part of the automation. So uh, as you mentioned, you can uh, automatically follow things, automatically post things under the feeds and all those things. So you can do a bunch of um, automation around that. Wonderful. Looks like that was all of the questions that uh, popped up in chat. Um, but if anyone has any follow-up questions, please feel free to email Donald at mstsolutions.com. He's who you heard at the, the start of the webinar. And um, thank you to all who joined and thank you to, um, to our wonderful panelists. Yes, thank you all. And I hope you have a wonderful day. No, great. Thank you all. Yeah, it's great. Thank you all.